Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, today's video is for the assignment cycle September 2024, semester 2. And this is a common subject for all the streams. Strategic management is the subject. First question, you are the CEO of a bank which has a profitable consumer banking division. Do you think the bank should sell out a profitable business like this? What according to you could be the reason for, the, uh, for a retrenchment strategy? If you were the strategy advisor to the bank, would you advise the bank for such a move? Let's see in our book, Retrenchment Strategy, we can find it in uh, um, chapter 6, 175. So these are the retrenchment strategies. You can uh, you can write up a brief about retrenchment strategy. And other things what you have to look for is maybe I is it it's up to an individual uh, whether you want to support this strategy or you want to tell no. You can go ahead with uh, your own different opinion. So in that case, I have given my suggestion advertising against the move. Um, a stable revenue stream. Uh, customer base is already established then brand value is already there long-term growth so this is kind of my advice so similarly you provide this kind of uh, highlights and then mention why you're telling that you should not be selling this business because it is already running and uh, because of this reason i support that they should not be selling the business or you can also mention like because of this reason i suggest them to sell this business so come up with your own reasons i explain the complete uh, information and then connect back to the story with your conclusion so write the introduction part of it uh, and then uh, this this should be your uh, main explanations or um, regarding the strategies everything and then final conclusion you mention your uh, against or far for the, the strategy because of these these reasons okay question two the ISL in, is India's leading football league, but lately it is struggling with issues such as sponsorship and viewership. What could be the reasons for this lack of interest in sponsors, according to you? What strategies would you recommend to the league management to increase consumer engagement if you were its strategy consultant? Okay, so we can see a little bit of um, coming close to the answers, but we are not finding exact answers in the textbook. But a little bit uh, I'll try to show you some information here in uh, chapter 3 we can see hyper competition yeah this is hyper competition um, you can write a little bit about it and uh, <coughs> source for competitive intelligence 102 sources for competitive intelligence then 104 <coughs> monitoring of competitors for strategic planning so you can write a brief about it and then come back and uh, look for this uh, points so when you um, you can also mention in detail like limited fan base and the Indian Football League is not getting that complete um, fan base then economic factors marketing and promotions broadcasting issues then you can also suggest your strategies for that so um, I hear some of the suggestions what I have mentioned is like better marketing and promotions, fan engagement initiatives, improved match day experience, strategic partnership, innovative sponsorship packages. So these are some examples. <coughs> Similarly, you can try to answer your um, assignment question. <coughs> okay, question three. WPP became a global advertising behemoth because of its relentless acquisition strategy. 
This has led to in its global dominance. In such scenario, if you were the owner of a small full service advertising agency, then what strategies would you adopt to compete with the big players like WPP? In your own opinion, uh, opinion is advertising relevant to the marketing anymore? Analyze the complexities of marketing communications in the post pandemic era. Can AI be solely depended on, uh, on to solve all the marketing problems or would you still need human interventions while reaching out to the consumers? Okay, let us see. <coughs> Some brief uh, connections, what we can find it for the question uh, A. Horizontal strategies and uh, multi-point uh, competition, then timing tactics, then we have marketing location tactics. Um, we'll start with the first one. Uh, one, two, four. Horizontal strategy in midpoint strategy, 184, what might be here? <coughs> Page number 184. No. Horizontal uh, strategy in multi point competition. Then um, <coughs> we have marketing. Uh, timing tactics to 23. Timing tactics when to compete. Then uh, market location tactics where to compete. Location tactics where to compete. Then we uh, we can focus other points like innovation solutions, innovate uh, uh, details about what is innovative solutions. Then cost effectiveness like local market focus, agility and flexibility, personalized services. So some of the other points also you can write up for this answer. For the part B, I could not directly get any information from the textbook, but uh, since it's kind of uh, open question so i have tried to put some points like integrated marketing communications digital transformation personalization and tar uh, targeting complexities of marketing communications post pandemic consumer behavior change omni channel strategies content overload a role of ai in marketing data driven insights automation and efficiency personal personalization Need for humor intervention, creativity, and emotional intelligence is always uh, uh, will be a point whenever there is an AI. And the question related when it comes to we really need a human one uh, intervention. Ethic, uh, ethical considerations, strategic decision making. So these still we, we humans will be needed for this kind of uh, questions. So here supporting all these key points, you can write up your answer. You can add up some more key points to answer your question to connect back to the story of WPP. Okay. Thank you. All the best.